Good evening, my name is Matt Fisher, and I'm going to discuss with you this evening something that affects us all, that is politics and campaigns and the financing of those campaigns for local, state, and federal offices. And I'm here to talk to you about why public financing of campaigns is bad for American taxpayers. And one of the issues uh, you have with uh, financing campaigns is where that money comes from. And certainly with uh, the financing of public campaigns, you could expect to see higher taxes as a result of campaigns which are publicly funded. And the reason for that is that obviously with public funded funding of campaigns, higher taxes would result because as you are paying for these campaigns, uh, certainly the government, state, local, or federal governments would be looking for an allocation of money to support these local, state, or federal races. And that money has to come from someone. So if it's coming from the public, you can expect to pay higher taxes, uh, certainly as a result of uh, publicly funded campaigns. Personal choice, and this is something that uh, we, each and every one of us has at this point uh, in the juncture of, of the way the system is set up currently. Uh, with the current state of politics, you can support any candidate of your choosing uh, by donating your own personal time, volunteer time, money uh, to, your, to your candidate of choice. And uh, publicly funded campaigns, the decision to run for public office is a personal one. And therefore, uh, the individuals who run for public office should in fact be the ones who support and uh, uh, certainly uh, are looking for uh, money, and they should be using their own money uh, to support uh, their own campaigns. And with uh, looking at uh, publicly funded campaigns, we don't want to be taking money away from out of the pockets of, of taxpayers in general. Certainly, it should be more of a personal choice. The decision to run for public office is a personal one, and thus it should be funded with a candidate's own money. Campaign expenses. This is another one. If you're using campaign dollars coming from the public at large, that is money that will be used to support something that is a personal choice of the candidate. And that is money that will be used in addition to running the campaign, uh, including personal expenses for travel, food, entertainment, and lodging. So if you are spending the public's money to support a personal decision to run for office, do you want the taxpayers to be also paying for personal expenses like travel, food, entertainment, and lodging? And certainly that's something you must consider as this debate continues as to whether or not campaigns should be publicly funded or privately funded uh, through donations of the public and uh, corporations as well. One of the concerns you have in addition to where that money is being spent is the separation from the electorate. So in other words, candidates who don't depend on their supporters for uh, campaign money uh, contributions may be less inclined to represent their views or seek their opinions on public policy. If you have a large pot of money that's coming from a vast a pot of a vast majority of Americans, and that money is being spent for a particular cause or purpose, you are certainly using your money as the taxpayer, possibly to support notions and issues that, that you may not be close to. But in addition, you're looking at uh, separating the electorate from the, from, the, from the taxpayers and the representatives, because this money separates the Americans from uh, the, the groups that are representing their uh, constituents because that money is not being um, spent to represent their own opinions of public policy. So there's a separation there. And the concern is that as that money goes into the public coffers, uh, essentially you're going to have people at the state, federal, and uh, local level promoting their own agenda and basically maintaining the status quo. So that's certainly something that you want to you keep in mind. Preserving the status quo is something that we none of us really want here uh, in our politicians. And using public dollars in campaigns enables political leaders to use their tax money to handpick their own candidates. So that's something that uh, we, we certainly don't want. We want to keep that money 
and, and have the ability to spend our dollars on our own candidates and invest in our own the people who represent us best. And by putting the money in a, in a public coffer, you're certainly that money is going to be used uh, to reelect uh, party leaders, and those leaders are going to maintain their control uh, within government by using the money that has been put in that pot by all of Americans. And uh, candidate support is another issue that I certainly want to keep in mind. Taxpayers should not be forced to support candidates. I mentioned this earlier who don't share in their views. It's as if you're taking that money, again, coming from your taxes to support a person who doesn't share in your viewpoints. And that uh, is, again, taking the freedom away from uh, the individual viewpoints of the person if they have the willingness to spend their own money to support a local candidate. Scarce resources is another concern with public financing of campaigns. Public financing of campaigns will take taxpayer money away from school health care and infrastructure funding because oftentimes what we see uh, in state, local, and federal government is the moving of money from the general fund to another fund that suits the purpose of, of the people who are in charge. And that would be a concern if you have a general pot of money uh, that is pooled just for uh, supporting campaigns. Some of that money could eventually be steered into other general fund uh, issues uh, and away from school health care and infrastructure funding. So that, that is certainly an issue as well. I want to leave you with a, a certain, like, a very important thing to keep in mind is, here, is to take action. You want to, there is something that we can do. You want to contact your state and federal representative and tell them that you don't support public financing of campaigns. Uh, for the reasons given that you want to continue to have the ability to invest your own money in your own candidates. Thank you very much.